All right, we are about a mile away from hopefully finding out what is going on with my car, why I don't have it. Yeah. Sean, this is Sean, the Camaro guy. I'm sorry, who? Oh, you don't even know who I am? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bud, this is Sean with the Camaro. Oh. You follow along, he's working on this letter. Here's one of the other good I don't need a letter anymore. I need my car. You got paid 15 days ago. I'll call him. Because right because right now, $51,500 is larceny. That's grand larceny. You're aware of that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Sean. This is Dream Cars Daily, and I'm at the airport again. Today, we are flying to Oklahoma City. We are going to attempt to retrieve the car. I'm pretty sure he's not going to give me the car. This has gone so sideways, it's absolutely ridiculous. His attorney literally wrote a letter to the bank stating that they had agreed upon a code word that would be used in their communications. And because that code word isn't there, they still believe that my check is fraudulent. But I, I'm, is this the CIA? I mean, are we like, you know, clandestine services? Sure, you, you, you're gonna have to use the code word. I, I'm, if you don't know the code word, then uh, I can't speak with you. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Just give me my car. So I'm going down, I'm gonna try to get the car. Please Doubt that's going to happen. And we'll just wait. We're going to try to get the car. Doubt I'm going to get it. We're probably going to see the police today. I don't know. But probably. And yeah, I guess just stay tuned. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. But I'm sure it's going to be exciting. layover in Minneapolis and uh, it's really familiar. I was just here like two weeks ago. I had a huge smile on my face because I thought I was driving a Camaro home and um, yeah I'm back here without the smile. Still hope I'm driving a Camaro home this time. Check that out. I'm glad I don't have to fly on it but I'm assuming those are military but those are cool. I've been walking in circles for 10 minutes trying to find rental car stuff. Apparently, it's that way. Just follow the, uh, the sign. Don't follow the sign because there isn't one. Not a single sign in sight. I only had to ask like five people how to find rental car shuttles. You just, uh, just keep walking around till you find them eventually. But I found them. All right, I got my rental car looks a little dirty but it'll do oh no that's really dirty that, that's not a little dirty that's a whole lot dirty I think it needs an exhaust upgrade all right we are about a mile away from hopefully finding out what is going on with my car why I don't have it I have my mask I don't want to give them any reason I don't want to give them anything I haven't done anything wrong I'm gonna go in super nice, well, nice-ish, ish, and just ask why I can't have my car. And, well, maybe he'll give me the car. I doubt it, but maybe. So, I'm gonna try. Here we go. You guys know the really sad thing is this could have been a great transaction. It could have gone really well. He could have had all the publicity of selling me a car and well, now he has all the publicity of this. Well, well we're, we're also, also live on Instagram, Instagram so, so some, some of you guys, guys are probably are going, already going to have seen this. Hello? Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? 
Yeah. Sean. This is Sean, the Camaro guy. I'm sorry, who? Oh, you don't even know who I am? I'm sorry, I have the glasses on. Bud, this is Sean with the Camaro. Sean, hi. No, I don't know what's going on. I just want answers. And if this helps me get my answers, then by all means. But <laughs> nothing illegal, nothing wrong, no violence. That's not me. I just want my car. Well, guys, this is Bauer Cars. And uh, that, that was Bud Bauer. And um, I don't know if I'm going to see anybody again or not, or if they're just going to leave me standing here. <laughs> I guess that's one way not to talk to me, right? Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if I just sit here for 15 minutes and, I don't know, maybe he'll just straight up call the police. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. It's um, 405-751-5200. Uh-oh, phone's ringing. <laughs> We're we're live. He's following his lawyer. He's working on this letter. Here's one of the other guys. I don't need a letter anymore. I need my car. You got paid 15 you days ago. Right I'll call him right. because right because right now, fifty-one thousand five hundred dollars is larceny. That's grand larceny. You're aware of that. You got a phone call. Now a lot of these people call her. I can't control what I can't control what my people do, and it's not it's not harassment. They're calling me. They're calling me. You owe me a car, but if you're telling me to leave, I'll leave the property until the police get here. Well, that's about how I expected it to go. All right. Well, here's where we're at, guys. Obviously, he wanted me to leave the property. He doesn't want to talk to me about the car. He's in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood too. He took $51,500 from me. That's pretty bad mood. I'm gonna leave the property till the police arrive and then uh, we'll be back. Just wanna make you aware we're already on camera. I came, here, I came here to see Mr. Bauer. I paid him $51,500 for a car 15 days ago. Okay. He still refuses to give me the car. Okay. My lawyer told me to come ask him why I can't have my car. Okay. And if that didn't work, then to call you guys and tell you that he has stolen $51,500 from me. I have all the proof in the car. What's the, what's the, continue on with that one. Uh, would you like me to just pull everything? Cash? Did you? He received a $50,000 check from my bank. Okay. He said that the check was fraudulent. Okay. My bank has mailed him all of the proof. Another bank has emailed him all of the proof. He still says it's fraudulent, even though the money has been in his account for 11 days. Okay. He refuses to speak to me. Do you have ID with you? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Just a minute, okay? So I know you can't make him give me the car. You can't do anything. Right. But he told me to call you guys, okay. give you all of the, everything that I have in the car, okay. that he got my money, and that you guys would probably forward that to a prosecutor who would then decide what to do with it. Yeah, I, so in the state of Oklahoma, I'll, I can pretty much tell you it, it's going to fall more in the civil side than the criminal side. So stealing $51,000 isn't criminal? So, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I definitely see where you're coming from because I'm being saying is basically you guys had an agreement right and he's falling short on his side for whatever reason and so that falls more it's leaning more towards the civil side is what I'm trying to say okay, okay. So are you I'm, I'm from Michigan I oh, okay. I flew in 15 days ago and paid him he told me I could come back four days later and pick up the car then he told me I couldn't do it that day then he pushed it back and then he told me today and now he told me not today either and now he won't even speak to me and says I can only speak to his attorney who also won't talk to me I, I swear to you I cannot make this up his attorney wrote a letter to the bank stating that he gave them a particular code word that they were supposed to use when they spoke to him and because they didn't use that code word 
they still have suspicions regarding the check. I, that look on your face, right? Yeah. I can't make this up. That's crazy. I cannot make it up. That's kind of crazy. Apparently, these guys are like CIA. That's crazy. <laughs> So hopefully my car is in there and he hasn't, you know, sold it to somebody else and just decided to keep my money. But I don't even know that because nobody will talk to me. What kind of car was it? It's a Camaro ZL1. Nice. What year? 17. You know. Uh, yes, I would. See the car? I, I would love to. I'll go put my mask on. Okay. Uh, you, Thank you. We're still waiting on a letter from Bank of America or Bank of Oklahoma or whoever the whatever he wants a letter from but I at least get to see the car and find out that he hasn't you know randomly sold it to somebody else or anything all right guys so it is here so those of you that had concerns that he sold the car and just didn't want to tell me there it is the car is here it still looks clean it's beautiful I'm pretty sure I'm not getting the tank of gas or the hotel stay that he promised me at this point as well as probably a few other things, but whatever. If I get the car, I'm good. Well, mostly. We, we've got other stuff to talk about, but there it is. It's there. I'm happy. I'm going to go back out because I'd rather not see him anymore. Everybody, let's give a big thank you to these guys who showed up and did their job professionally and kept me safe here in Oklahoma because uh, I think this is a shoot first state. And uh, he's obviously pretty mad now. Obviously, I didn't get my car, so I figured I'd just go gorge myself. What in the heck? Oh, I got it. Okay. Mini T-boned the Cadillac, and we go through a parking lot to get around the accident. They definitely don't do that in Michigan. They do not route you through a private business. It was interesting. Oh, and another. All right. We don't go there. We go here. Well, that's a thing. Where things stand right now, I'm staying in Oklahoma City for at least a night, maybe three. I've got to determine that. I'm at the Radisson. I'm going to go get checked in, chill, and um, I guess we'll probably pick this up tomorrow.